Hello. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Let me show you what I've been loving in the month of May. So I've been loving two apps this past month and I've been using them constantly. So let me first show you what the first one is. I hope you guys have Periscope because I'm obsessed with Periscope these days. It's this app right here. And there's a few people that I love to follow and whenever they go on live, I watch them pretty much every single time. If you have Periscope, follow me at VS They Look. And uh, if you don't have Periscope, you should get Periscope because it's now available for Androids as well as iPhones. So yeah. I love to follow are two guys who live in Hong Kong just because, I don't know, Hong Kong is like my hometown. It's where I was born. So I guess I feel like there's a sense of home there whenever I watch their broadcasts because they show like the streets of Hong Kong, they show the food, they show all the like popular spots and you know, all the Hong Kong stuff. So I'm like, ooh. And plus I'm going to Hong Kong next month in July. So that makes me want to see it more and just to get an idea of what are some of the places I should visit. So yeah, I've been checking those broadcasts out a lot and yeah, you guys should too because it's pretty awesome. And the second app that I've been loving is Duolingo. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with it. I'm learning French on Duolingo these days. It's a lot of fun. You get to practice your speaking, your writing, your reading and things like that. And yeah, I'm just really on the first level because my French sucks. <laughs> but I really want to pick up French again just because I feel like I used to know French. I can't believe that I've forgotten it. And it's... <laughs> I love learning new languages, so yes. And you can set goals on here for yourself. So the goal I set is 20 minutes a day. And if for some reason I was too busy or I'm too lazy and uh, I haven't been on Duolingo that day, it'll just send me push notifications and be like, hey, you need to go on this app right now and practice your French. So it's pretty good like that. Oh, my favorite person's live on Periscope right now. Okay, I'm filming, so I'm not gonna watch him for now. Enough about the apps. I need to get off my phone because I'm always on my phone. It's really annoying. It's, I don't know. I pick up my phone without even realizing sometimes because I'll be like checking all my apps, right? I'll be on Instagram and then I'll check Twitter and then I'll check Snapchat and then I'll check Periscope. And then I'll be like, I'll be like, okay, yeah, I checked everything. I'm gonna put my phone down now. Within 10 seconds, I pick it up again and I start checking everything again. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Periscope without really realizing until I'm like, why is there a phone in my hand again? Ugh! It's just really addictive and bad because I need to learn to just like stay away from my phone. Now on to my beauty products. Let's start off with makeup. E this one I've been loving. Every time I use makeup, I reach for this guy. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. I love this color because it's perfect for the summertime. It's got this really pretty champagne bronzy color to it. Not super dark. And I find that the Shimmering Skin Perfectors, which are the um, liquid highlighters from Becca, they're much more subtle than the powder version. So if you're looking for a subtle, but a nice dewy, glowy kind of highlighter, then check this out because it's less intense. But if you're looking for that BAM! I'm wearing highlighter type look, then check out the powder ones because those are gorgeous too. So yeah, I've been loving this one. I just dab like half a pea size onto each cheekbone and I just, you know, blend it out and it just gives me this nice glowy effect. The next makeup product is an eyeliner. This is Nature Republic's uh, brown eyeliner. It's called Bi Flower Brush Eyeliner. I've talked about this in my Korean makeup haul and it's finally in my favorites video. I've been really liking this guy just cause I, well, it's a summertime, so I'm really going for the more natural look, uh, except when I'm filming or for special events. But for day to day, I'm more into like the natural, no makeup, makeup look. And brown eyeliner is perfect for that because it's less intense. Um, I find that with black eyeliners without eyeshadow, it tends to look a little awkward. So yeah, if I'm just going out 
um, with maybe like a really light wash of cream shadow or sometimes no shadow, uh, just mascara and a brown eyeliner, then it's super natural and it just makes you look a bit more awake, you know? Now let me tell you what I've been loving for my skincare products. I went to the Shiseido warehouse sale last month in Markham, which is uh, within the Toronto area. And I hope you guys made it there too, people who are living in the GTA. I remember some of my viewers were asking me when and where it was happening. And yes, it was really crazy at the sale when I went, but I did get everything that I wanted to get. I got the um, Shiseido, the Skincare Hydro Nourishing Softener. This is the first step after cleanser. And I've been really loving this because my skin has changed ever since I've used it the past month. It's just, I know I keep saying that. I said that about my Shiseido night cream last month and it's just, it works. It works for me. My skin just loves it. So what this does is it balances your skin's pH, I believe, and it just helps um, the rest of your skincare products absorb that much better. So it preps your skin to absorb whatever you're gonna put on next. And then I've also been loving this Shiseido Brightening Protective Cream. So I like to use this during the daytime. Um, it has SPF in it and it's just really creamy and it helps brighten my skin. So I do have a night cream. That's the one I showed you last month in my favorites video. And this one's the new one that I use during the daytime. The last product I don't think I've ever talked about in my favorites video. I don't know why because I love this guy and I've always been reaching for him. And this one's expensive, unless you can get it at the L'Oreal slash Lancome warehouse sale. If you get it at Sephora, it's pretty pricey. Um, and I wasn't able to make it to the L'Oreal sale this year, so I'm kind of like, uh, I hope I don't use this up too quickly because, or else I have to get this at Sephora and it's gonna break the bank, seriously. Uh, this thing though, I noticed a difference after just one night of using it. I don't know if it's just me, but it works for me and yeah, it's awesome. Um, this is the Lancome Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate. I know that this is the their older version, uh, which is just the Genifique, and their new version now is called the Lancome Advanced Genifique. And I don't know what the difference is. I haven't tried the advanced one. I just leave this for the nighttime right before bed so that it has all night to absorb into my skin. And the next morning, I feel like my skin's a lot tighter, a lot plumper, and... Um, yeah, it just looks better. I can't describe it. But when I look at my skin, the texture's better. It's just like, wow, what is it? So those are the products that I've been loving in the month of May. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye guys.